Hey, so welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you one of my all-time favoritest organizing tools, and that, of course, is my home management binder. You've probably seen it before, but I have made some changes, and I'm using it more now than I ever did. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I've changed and what I'm using, what's working and what's not, and hopefully inspire you to create your own household management binder. And if you're not using one and you have created it, to sort of reinvent it so it can be a useful tool in your home. This is a great way to manage paper clutter because a lot of the times we use our fridge as a household management binder and we like stick billion magnets up there and it's clutter and it's, you know, not appealing to the eye and um, whether we know it or not, it's kind of deflating when we come into our kitchen and we are bombarded by notes and papers and all those things. So instead, I suggest you create a household management binder. It's also good for a bunch of other things too. So in the front here, I have in case of extreme emergency, which is like if I croak and get hit by a bus, all the information that anyone who would come into my home would need to um, sort of take over my life. And then this is something I just started doing, which is my daily to-do list here. And the reason I really like it is I've always been the type of person who writes lists. And I really like this from Indigo. It's a list writing, things to do around the house, notepad. But first, they're a little bit expensive and it's not the best for the environment. So the nice thing about using this is it's in a clear plastic sleeve. So I can just wipe it off the next day with water and rewrite it with a dry erase marker. So I've really been liking this. The other thing is a lot of these things stay the same. So um, I keep like brushing my hand. I'm wiping it off as I'm brushing, but uh, usually just by closing it, it's fine. But a lot of these things stay the same. And this to-do list, which I have on my website, you can download it. I'll put the link below. This daily to-do list actually comes with a schedule too. So you can kind of write down a general rough schedule of your day, which is awesome if you have a busy schedule to have that written down. And I noticed, wow, even though I stay home, I really do do a lot in the day. Um, and then my to-do list, of course. So I really like that one. Um, then on the back, there's another one I'm trying. It's another to-do list that you can find on the website. And then I just printed off this day by day, which just has like more lists if you, <laughs> you must think I'm really into lists if you needed it. So here we go into the actual household management binder. And the first section is my contact section. So I have all like my emergency information in here. Recently, my wallet was stolen right in front of me. Um, she took it out of my purse and ran out the door in a really nice shopping, um, like grocery store, it was craziness. So um, while I was trying to get my ID back, it was like, oh, well, do you have your number of your health card? Well, of course I don't. And that's when I found out that a photocopy will work in a pinch. So if I got pulled over or if my kids got sick and I was waiting for their health card, I could have used a photocopy. So that is my goal, to photocopy, once my ID is mailed to me, which I haven't got yet, to make photocopies of all those things because even the police officer was like, well, do you have the numbers so we can register them as canceled? Of course I didn't because they were gone. So I'm gonna put all that here in my emergency contact information and I really recommend you do the same thing. Next we have my family contacts, so the family yellow pages. Um, this also includes like my doctor, the pediatrician, numbers, the kids' school, numbers that I call all the time, but I don't necessarily have them memorized. Instead of looking them up on my phone or like on the computer or an old, <laughs> an old uh, school phone book, who uses those anymore? I have it all right here. Really easy to get to at a glance. And then I have a neighborhood phone list here. That's nice because we have some kids um, in the neighborhood that our front kids might want to play with that ride their bus. And it's got their phone number, plus the neighbor across the street when we're going away, we can ask him, you know, get our mail or in case of emergencies. Then I have all my family's mailing list here, which is awesome at Christmas cards. I just print it off. Um, it's saved on my computer, I just print it off. But if I just wanna write one of them a letter, I have all their addresses right here. Next we have the restaurant takeouts. So the ones we use most often, as well as all the menus right here. So it's a great place to store those as opposed to on your fridge like we talked about earlier. Things getting heavy. This is the new part that I'm using all the time and that is my calendar. I'm not really a calendar on a wall type of person. I do have a dry erase calendar that I use. It's a one month calendar that I use. 
But what I find is, say someone's saying, like, Lex, next month, let's do something. I was like, I don't really have a place to write that down. <laughs> so now I do. I'm really excited about it. I just printed out this Canadian calendar. It's a, I just typed a Canadian printable calendar into Google and this great free one popped up. And I printed it off and it already has like all the holidays. I dropped a bunch of stuff. <laughs> A bunch of holidays already on there so what I did is just went through I literally spent maybe 10 minutes and wrote down all the stuff that I knew was coming up people's birthdays all that stuff so then I can just write it on the whiteboard and I already have it all in here so it's like my planner as well next this is one of my favorite parts of this I'm getting there it's my perpetual calendar for birthdays and anniversaries. The reason I like this is what I was doing before is I was writing everybody's stuff down and then, you know, you'd throw that calendar out or you'd have to rewrite it on a new calendar the next year. This just has the month and then all the stuff that happens year after year in that month. So when you're filling out your new calendar for the year, you just have to look at the month and know all the special events that are going on. So I love that once and forget it. You never have to do it again. Next, we go on to the budget part. So I have a family budget. I don't really look at this a whole lot. I know a lot of people who use their family binders for spending tracking, tracking their spending, I guess, and all of that type of stuff. Uh, I'm bad, I don't do that stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I spent too much money. There's none left, I can't spend anymore. I, I should probably be stricter with my budget, but I suck really bad at that. So. On we go. Next, we have all my cleaning lists and schedules. When I first started my transition from super slob to clean freak, not that I'm a huge clean freak, but I'm cleaner. I appear to be clean. <laughs> when I started that, um, this was my Bible because I would always usually wait till things got dirty and then I would clean it, but that's totally the wrong way to go. What you want to do is clean every day a little bit so it never builds up so you never have to scrub. I never scrub a toilet. I never have to like scrub a ring out of a bathtub. None of that stuff anymore because I do a little bit every day. So I have all my daily to-do lists, my weekly to-do lists, my spring and summer to-do lists. Again, all of these you can download off my website. And then I have my master project list. This is all the things I want to do in the house. My husband made me fill this out because I'm like ADD. I'm, let's do this, let's get hardwoods, let's build a deck, let's do a pool, let's paint all the trim. You know we can't do all of those things. So I wrote down all the things I want to do and I check them off as they get done, but it also helps me prioritize the things that are more important. So making a master project list for my house for us was a great idea. Next I have this grocery list. The reason I printed this off was, first of all, everything's already in, you know, the, the order. You know I use this all out of, and I love it. I love it. It's from Indigo as well. It's a little bit, I, I just feel like it's not the most environmentally friendly thing. So this one, you can just, you know, pop this page out, take it with you, and then wipe it off when you're done and keep using it. So we'll see if I can transition from the awesomeness of my indigo all out of to something a little bit more environmentally friendly and free. Uh, next, of course, this is where I also put my meal planning. <laughs> which if you know me at all, you know I stink at meal planning. But that's my goal, is to put ideas for 30 um, meals that I can quickly make or our family likes, and then when I do meal planning, I'll have a sort of master list to go by. The next section is my kids' school stuff. So I'm not gonna like really show you this because it's probably something I shouldn't show you, but <laughs> for safety reasons. But it has all my kids' school papers. So the calendars, you know, they're my son's getting an occupational developmental worker, so that type of stuff, speech therapy, all those type of things I keep in here. Also, when they start doing in the summer, they start doing, you know, gymnastics and ballet and all that soccer. This is a great place to keep all those schedules so you know what's coming up. You can just flip to this. Um, this is just my kids section in the book and it's got all that stuff together. Next we have entertainment. This is where I keep wedding invitations, uh, birthday invitations, all those type of things. You're going to something but you're like, what was that address again? 
this, instead of your fridge, is a great place to keep those type of things. And of course, we get the Heart and Stroke calendar for Christmas from a couple of people, so I keep those in here as well. Next, we have the medical information. I fill this out for myself because now that I've had three children, for some reason, I'm dropping more stuff. <laughs> my, um, my body is like mad at me so I'm having some medical issues um, so this just says what medication I'm on and um, any you know medical issues that's going on in case I get hit by a bus or whatever um, I also keep all my latest um, medical tests that I get done I always ask for a copy because if I ever switch doctors or something like that happens it's nice to have a copy and which I dropped on the floor <laughs> Uh, these plastic sleeves are awesome except when you tip them upside down so I keep my kids immunization cards and all of that type of stuff as well in the medical section of my binder another thing that I've done in my medical section of the binder is start um, writing information about my parents my parents are getting older and their health is like iffy sometimes so as their next of kin emergency contact um, if I ever get a call, I want to know what medications they're on. I want to know those type, their family doctor. I want to know all that type of stuff. So over the phone, I can answer those questions and potentially help them if they're ever in a medical crisis situation. So that's a part of my medical information book as well. Next we have, I'm almost done, I promise. <laughs> we have the gifts and receipt section. So I only really keep receipts for Christmas gifts. I keep receipts for big items that we've purchased in with the manuals in my manual box, but for Christmas presents I buy for other people, I always just keep them in my household management binder. And this is something else I started, which was my wish list. When I come across something I really want, I always like, oh, I should remember to write that down because when birthdays and Christmas comes along, people are like, oh, what do you want? And I can never think of anything. So I've started writing down a wish list for me and I want my family to start writing down wish lists as well. My husband's birthday is coming up and I'd love to be able to have a list of things that he might want that I can choose one of them. So I've started my own list here and I hope to add for my kids and my husband as well and just have a list of things always in here. And last but not least, I have a bunch of blank babysitter information pages here. Again, you can download these off. It's nice because I just pull one out and I fill it in whenever we have a babysitter. The numbers, where we're going to be, what time we're gonna be back, emergency numbers, how to get a hold of us, foods that our kids like to eat, bedtime routine, all that type of stuff is all right here and ready to go for those rare occasions I'm able to get out of the house without them. So anyways, that is my household management binder. It's a long video, I apologize for that, but I really recommend you create one for yourself. Anyways, that's your tip, we'll see you next time.